All right, I'm here to tell you and share with you in case you're unaware, but Olight is having a huge summer bash sale. And it is running from, what is that? July 1st, 8 p.m. to July 5th at midnight. And you're going to be able to save a lot of money. So if you are new to Olight, go set up an account and you're gonna get a free gift flashlight. If you're an existing customer of Olight, go sign in and you're still gonna get a free gift new flashlight. That's why I'm telling you, Olight's awesome. And with this sale, they're going to be doing a whole bunch of huge savings, bundle items. You can save up to 50% off, which is now the time to buy something if you've been waiting for it, or you might see something you weren't, were not aware of and you have to have it. And I just did a video about these two flashlights, the Baton 3 Pro and the Arkfeld with UV, and are they relevant still in 2024? And I do think so. This is one of the flashlights that I carry. The one that I'm showing you is Cool White. It puts out 1500 lumens. It's an 18650 battery inside. It's a very small flashlight. But why I highly recommend it is because I've been carrying one for, well, it'll be two years in the fall. And I use this thing constantly while I'm out filming my digging videos. And it's been, it's been a companion. Let's put it that way. And it's one of the few flashlights that they always sell in neutral white, which I love, and cool white which is very handy. And then, as you can see with my collection, a bunch of different colors and finishes. The other flashlight I carry constantly, because I carry two, one is none, is the Warrior 3S. Can also highly recommend it. It's larger, it's powerful, it has a lot of throw, it has a beautiful moonlight, it's a 21700. All this stuff is going to be linked down below so you can go look at them. But these are the two flashlights that I carry. And those are the ones that I can always recommend because I know how they hold up and work. And the Arkfeld UV is still relevant because with the different models they've made, there's the with UV the one with laser, and then the Pro. I do use the Pro at home quite a bit. I really like it. The UV, why I still think it's relevant, is because it is it is smaller, so that may be a factor for you, but it's the same form factor. It has the deep pocket clip, which I like that setup, where the laser does not. And me personally, I use the UV. I use it to light up glow things like this Velcro patch, which you could put on, you know, your pack or something. And UV charges the stuff really quick. So to me, UV is very handy amongst other things, uh, you know, looking for minerals or uranium glass. And you might just not want the larger pro, which I understand this is a very nice form factor and size. So those two flashlights, like I said, I did in a video, it'll be accessible at the end of this one. Now the other thing that I have to show you is this Rubato knife. It's beautiful. It's a Tanto style blade. Very nice, great size. Sharp as hell out of the box. Their blades, uh, no joke when you get them. The scales, the handles are actually, they're calling it Damascus G10. When I first opened it up and got it, I thought they were aluminum. They feel like aluminum. They look like aluminum, but they're actually G10. They're just calling them black and red. It matches the black lava Arkfeld and has a very topographic kind of look to it. 
the action. So it's a lock bar for the access, right? So you have your thumb stud, it's just smooth. Pull it back, it closes itself. And left-handed, no problem. I mean, it's still that easy and comfortable to operate. The action is really nice on this and it just looks good. I have had this Roboto. I think this is the uh, two. Yeah. For a long time. And it's the same thing. The action on them is just great. They're super sharp. Left-handed, right-handed, doesn't matter. Ambodextrous, right? So again, I've had this for a while. They have lots of O knives, if you're unaware of that, and different sizes, shapes, colors, sizes. But I really like this blade style. I like having that tip. And a lot of times, if I'm using my knife for, you know, cardboard or packages, I actually use my knife upside down just to preserve you know, I don't want to dull up my blade just cutting up junk. And that is plenty enough to just pull through everything. That's just me. And as always, they come with a very cool little pouch. A coin specific to whichever O knife you get. Throw it in your backpack. It's, uh, or your pocket, whatever. You don't want to use the pocket clip. O knives are nice, and I have I have a few different ones. This one's all about the color. You know, gotta have that avocado. So go check out the summer bash. They're also doing the prize wheel where you go in, spin, and have a chance of winning something. That's always fun daily while the sale is happening and look around because there's always something that's going to surprise you with an Olight sale. But this time it's a bash. All right, everybody. Use my link. It helps me out. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.